hey guys welcome to the new tutorial of ross tutorials after a very long time okay well in this video of tutorials what we are going to see about total bots autonomous navigation flying ross elon musk no no not elon musk just for kidding in this video we are just going to look into how to make an autonomous navigation yeah exactly you heard me right today we will take a pre-built robot everything will be pre-built and we will take it and what we are going to do is we will make a autonomous navigation intro just, just like that simple we don't need to do anything just put a ROS launch and make it run it's, it's like a win-win okay let's go ahead tada this is the robot we are going to demonstrate virtually yeah that's disappointing because I don't have the robot right now we we'll, we are going to demonstrate virtually so I'm going to giving you guys to a website where we can get all the stuff based on this exact husky robot this husky robot may look very robust and military based kind of a thing because it does and moreover you can see the specifications and what are the things over here you, just, you can just google it and you can just look into it so this is basically a robot we are going to simulate you can get to know about the background how it is made i will leave a link in the description or else i will make a separate video for that but only in this video we are going to navigate it just navigate it here we are in the beginner stage let's go to the beginner stage i assume that you guys already installed ubuntu installed ros and do you know some basics of ros and ubuntu as well so let's directly jump into the space uh, like driving the husky and uh, there are two different robots what is grizzly and uh, husky but in this we are going to only concentrate on husky because grizzly is not uh, any more supported so we are omitting this and moreover these are the commands which we need to implement so what we need to do is put this should I get updated mechanic okay so here you can see the ROS kinetic ASCII hyphen desktop what what the version do I have do I have the kinetic Oh damn, mine is melodic. How will I install kinetic version of packages? Okay, that is a way I can do. Simple. I'll just copy paste this command and paste it over here. And I will just eliminate this kinetic and put it as melodic. Since I have already installed all the packages in my system, this will do the process again so it will be easy for me. You need to run this code. I'll run this anyhow. So it's already installed so the next command is simulator what i'm going to do is run this simulator command simulator here you go it's already installed so now i'm going to run launch the launch file here you go yeah you go okay everything is loaded This is uh, launched in Gazebo and on another terminal we can launch it in Arvis. Okay, here you can see without any problem it, it all loaded up. So we can proceed further. So everything is loaded up in Arvis and Gazebo. I hope you people know the difference between Arvis and Gazebo. Basically, Arvis is robot visualization, what the robot sees in the real world. And uh, 
gazebo is the re real 3d world simulation so we are going to do that thing okay so what we are going to do is we are going to move the robot using the ROS topics we are going to publish few topics and we are going to move the robot at a certain speed so what we are going to do is we can just copy paste this and they also just given we can just copy twist till twist and we can press tab I'm going to open one more terminal I'm just going to copy paste press tab one more tab here you go for an R10 okay I have given this but one more thing is missing here they have given 0.5 but in this you can see here it is 0.5 but in ours it is not 0.5 it is 0 so what will happen if I give 0 okay let's test it out Oops. okay let's press enter well nothing happened nothing is moving let's take an hours can you tell me why it, nothing is happening because linear velocity and uh, y velocity everything is zero so what we need to do is we need to give some linear velocity to it so i'm just closing it just pressing the up arrow and going to this and putting 0.5 just like them or else we can put 0.3 or however we want once i press enter you can see the robot is moving okay this is the linear velocity okay you can see there is some little bit slippage because you can see the robot is drifting towards its right okay there is some wheel slippage we can see clearly that robot is drifting, drifting towards its right okay so we can optimize this most of the people know how to do this See, this is the path which is being followed by the ASCII robot. Okay, so I'm going to terminate this. Once I terminate this, the velocity publishing to the command will will be stopped. So it will be there. So, see, this is an easy task to move a robot, and so there are some basic definitions you need to see. Let's see what is geometry message twist and all these things so what do you need to know is how these commands are being executed how the flow works so for this they have given a RQT graph so RQT graph is nothing but given and uh, extraction of how the things work once I run this command you will come to know how it works see in this the base controller spawner gazebo UI teleop joy and everything is over here takes everything see this twist marks everything all the inputs given by the user comes here and it is given to the robot for the simulation this is the intermediate part everything happens and the right side is the simulation of the 3d we can say for now gazebo in real world it will be the real world robot so let me close this and after this okay transforms transforms are the very important things for a robot while simulation because we want to know where the lidar is placed where the motors are where the wheels and what should be the joint continuous revolve so we need to know what kind of things are going inside the robot and how what is the joint and where are the sensors are placed where the uh, sbc is placed where the ultrasonic sensors are placed so we need to know that so we need this transforms so i already made this so i will just look into the pdf so if i open this so you can clearly see from the base so from the base you can clearly see the from the base link everything got attached to it so from the wheels and average transforms and everything is over here you can clearly see this you can take a look by look running it in your own system and you can take a deeper look into it and you can google what is the robot state publisher what it is doing what does it mean 
what it's a joint state publisher and what is it doing what's the difference between joint state publisher and robot state publisher everything blah 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 so this is for the short video on the next video we will look into a new publisher and a python pi game stuff in the next video until then peace